hundreds of years, Potawatomi and French settlers thrived amongst her bountiful waters. The battle cry, Remember the Raisin, echoed from her banks in 1813, inspiring victory in the War of 1812. Steeped in history, the River Raisin has supported a way of life for centuries. Yet with the passing of time, dilution became the solution to pollution. In the newspaper, it had big articles. Well, it's summer, the river stinks again. The Raisin was in peril. Fish, wildlife, and her life-giving beauty were simply dying. PCBs were found in the river, impacting wildlife, fish, and potentially impacting humans as well who eat the fish. The River Raisin had reached a breaking point. We raised a generation of children with their parents telling them, don't go there, don't go near the water. Relentless citizens of Monroe, Michigan joined forces with state and federal partners and took action. When I was a kid, I didn't see eagles, I didn't see lotus. They've come back tremendously. The eagles being back is symbolic. It's a sign of the hard work that we've done over 30 to 50 years. What it's telling you is we're getting closer and closer to having a healthy river. And it's just a very inspiring story that can be modeled in other places around the Great Lakes. It's a story of determination and passion. Delisting is only a waypoint. A story of perseverance. Delisting is not an endpoint. I'm willing to do about whatever it takes to improve our environment, to improve our life for my kids and for your kids. It's a story of legacy, giving new meaning to the battle cry. Remember the raisin.